Most of the protesters killed this week by Israeli fire along the Gaza Strip were members of Hamas. That's according to the terrorist group itself. Meanwhile, tonight there is new footage from inside Gaza refugee camps that purports to show incitement to violence by a United Nations agency that runs schools and other operations in the Palestinian refugee camps with the help of millions of your U.S. taxpayer dollars. UNRWA, that is the acronym, has vehemently denied the allegations in the past and says the report this time is all wrong. Garrett Tenney is digging into it for us tonight, trying to get the facts. He joins us live. Hi, Garrett. Well, Shannon, we received this exclusive video from an Israeli-American journalist who went into Gaza this week to show how the UN Relief Agency is allegedly encouraging Palestinian children to take part in these deadly riots. This is purportedly the scene of a school assembly in Gaza ahead of Monday's violent clashes on Israel's border. The journalist David Bedin claims the school is run by the UN's Relief and Works Agency, or UNRWA, but we can't independently verify that and the other claims in the video. UNRWA provides humanitarian aid to millions of Palestinian refugees across the Middle East, including schools and hospitals. But the agency has also been criticized by Israeli and U.S. lawmakers for teaching anti-Israel and anti-Semitic views in its schools. This new video could fuel those allegations, as it alleges that students at the schools are being taught that they have the right to return to the lands taken by Israel and claim them by any means necessary. The UN agency tells us tonight it has not in any way been involved in organizing or participating in the marches in Gaza. In 2013, in response to another film by the same journalist, UNRWA condemned anti-Semitic statements students made on camera and defended its work in the region, saying, We reject in no uncertain terms the allegations that UNRWA promotes incitement and the notion that UNRWA is responsible for the views expressed in the film. UNRWA is committed to fostering human rights and tolerance and teaches these values through the curriculum in its schools. And in terms of funding, the U.S. gives more than $360 million to UNRWA every year, which is more than the next four highest countries combined. However, in January, the Trump administration announced it was withholding an initial $65 million of that funding because the U.S. wants to see revisions in how the agency operates. Shannon? All right, Garrett, thank you very much. So let's dig now a little bit further into this agency uh, for Palestine. It's for the refugees there. A Republican congressman from Colorado, Doug Lamborn, sits on the Armed Services Committee. He joins us live. Uh, welcome. Let thank me you. start by getting your reaction, because, again, this comes from an Israeli uh, filmmaker. We can't independently verify it. Uh, he says that it is... These are schools, these are agencies that are linked to UNRWA, which does get millions in uh, U.S. taxpayer dollars every year. They're denying that they are anti-Semitic. I think the researchers have done a very good work, Shannon. I think that they're revealing the facts. Congress needs to investigate further. Congress needs to get to the bottom of this. And I believe President Trump did the right thing by withholding the money, as we just stated. That's going to get the attention, hopefully, of the United Nations. You know, I was over there earlier this year, and we sat down with Saeed Arakat, who is the chief negotiator for the Palestinians. Uh, and he talked about, he was outraged about the money being withheld and talked about how it goes for food and education and health care and all kinds of things, and that these people are desperate. And when you take away that money, it makes them more desperate. And his argument was it then leaves them to become radical. Uh, if they have nothing to exist on. What do you make of that argument? Well, they, want, they say that they're just providing humanitarian aid, but they admit that they use the textbooks that the PA uses, the Palestinian Authority. And those textbooks glorify martyrdom. It urges the violent take, takeover of Israel by the right of return. Uh, it glorifies terrorism. And it does all the wrong things that poison the minds of the children that are now so anti-Israel and anti-Jewish. Okay, I want to read a little bit of what we got uh, from, or, or, you know, 
Garrett had some information. We have this additionally from the spokesman for UNRWA saying this. Uh, as a neutral U.N. humanitarian agency, UNRWA is committed to promoting nonviolence and the highest standards of neutrality. Our condemnation of all forms of racism, including anti-Semitism, is a matter of public record. Is that good enough for you? No, it's not good enough. We need to do research, uh, uh, congressional investigation. Uh, there was an Obama-era report that was done on UNRWA and the number of refugees, but that was classified by the State Department and has not been released to Congress yet. There are things there that we need to get to the bottom of that are not being told to us. Well, and I mentioned Saeed Arakat, the top Palestinian negotiator. His uh, niece, who is here uh, as a professor locally, I think maybe at G no, George Mason, I think, um, Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, and she wrote a piece on this and saying, since its inception, UNRWA has strived to remain impartial amid infighting, violence, and turmoil, concentrating on helping Palestinians in need, regardless of their politics. Um, again, food, water, health care, those kinds of things. Um, that's her take on it. Shannon, I have seen some of the textbooks. The Mr. Bedeen has released those to the public and to myself and other con uh, certain congressmen. And it is horrible. Uh, this is incitement to violence. This is poisoning the minds of the next generation. That's why we have these people going to the fence and uh, getting killed. Um, that's why we have the... Uh, that's why we needed the Taylor Force Act. I was the House sponsor of that. That tells the Palestinian Authority, don't take U.S. taxpayer dollars and give it to terrorists who are now in prison, paying them a lot more than they would ever make in the civilian sector of that country, or the f surviving families if they get killed. Uh, this is an incitement to terrorism and violence and death. And the, P the PAs are, PA is doing that right now on that front as well. Well, there are millions and millions of U.S. taxpayer dollars involved, so it sounds like it does warrant congressional investigation. Please let us know if that launches, what the track is, and what you eventually find. Absolutely. Thanks for coming in tonight. Great to have Thank you. Thank you.